Hey everyone, I'm back again. I think I've sort of become a catchphrase now. I kind of enjoy it. Um, today I'm going to talk about ships and not the boaty kind. Um, I'm talking about like the pairings which people would usually give to couples um, when they watch a TV show or watch something random or sometimes with real life people. Because I know some people have talked about this before but I don't think anyone really discuss the different types of ships you can get and I that's what I'm going to be talking about because I have no life this is my life and then I have something which we'll talk about at the end but let's go okay first of all if you've never been a part of this before just stop watching the video now because it's sort of scary but if you're new to this you should also run pretty far just run run Anyway, um, we we'll start off with an OTP, which is a one-true pairing. A one-true pairing, which you can have multiple of, is sort of like it's the one pairing which, no matter what, you think they could survive through anything, and they are just the one true pairing. They don't, in your eyes, they do not belong with anyone else. They only belong with each other. Okay, that's the first one. That is the most common. Then you have a no TP. No TP. You can kind of guess it's someone who would never belong together. Not even as friends usually. You wouldn't want them dating, you wouldn't want them to be friends, you wouldn't want them to be anything. Apart from mortal enemies. <gasps> yes, I'm hyper. Um, then you've got a slash TP. A slash TP is um, basically it's two people of the same gender who want to go out. So two guys, two girls. Maybe more. Because it's something to do with um, the Japanese or the fact that like, I don't know. I really don't. That's just what it is. Um, then you have a bro TP. Also, kind of, you can sort of guess. It's people who, it's a pair who you think would be either just really good friends or might, like family. So, like, me and Charlie. Or anyone like that. You have a 3 TP. That is, um, also, all of these are quite good to the name, you can sort of guess. 3TP, three people who you think should belong together. So, for example, this would never happen, by the way. Never, ever. But if you were to say, ship me, Charlie, and Nikki, that would be a 3TP. That would also be quite scary. As in, I could actually imagine our um, reactions. I think Nikki would be absolutely horrified about being shipped with um, a girl. Because she is as straight as a ruler. And not a bendy ruler, don't... Don't use that. She is just completely no. She wouldn't. Uh, Charlie, I think Charlie would be slightly scared. I know I would probably just be there and I would just be laughing because I think that would be quite amusing. Just actually, I think I'd probably be the first to know because I live my life on Tumblr so I would know everything because I am me. <laughs> no, um, I don't know everything. I'm kind of a bit. Ugh. But no, I think that would be quite funny. So I can imagine me laughing, Nikki probably crying in the corner, going, Why me? And Charlie just sort of going, What the? What the? What? Yeah, that's sort of her. But the last one, this one was actually about fourth in the list. I'm doing this last because this, this actually involves a um, bit of an explanation as to why this is actually the wrong name for this. You have a soul TP, which also you can guess it's people who, are, who you believe to be soulmates. But the way they do it, the, but the way it's done is they believe that um, when they say the soul TP, it's the people who are meant for each other for life. But that's not a soulmate. So, because I actually have, this is a quote from a website which I looked at earlier. It says, contrary to popular conception of a soulmate being the one romantically, we actually have many, many soulmates and they're not all romantic. Soulmates can be parents, children, good love, Good, good lovers. God, no, I read that wrong. Good friends, lovers, or teachers. God, that's weird. Teacher. Okay. They might stay in our lives always or appear only briefly. All of our past love relationships, even bad ones, are soulmates. What? That's a bit, um, that's a bit screwed up. Well, if you had, like, a really sucky ex, he would be a so well, they would be a soulmate? Man, that's screwed up. 
I don't know why I just did that. Okay, but that's all I really want to talk about. But although I do have something, um, you all know my name. My name is Jess. But the thing is, I find Jess quite a boring name because a lot of people do have that name. It's, well, I think it's one of the most common girls' names. And I wanted to be known as something different. Um, so from now on, I'm probably going to go by JJ. Do you, well, if you've watched the All About Me video, you will know what the J stand for. But, yeah. And it's sort of, it's just sort of quite mysterious. And I'm not a boring person, am I? I don't think I'm a boring person. Okay, these videos may seem quite boring, but that is because I literally have nothing going on at the moment. If you were to live in my head, um, I think you're pretty, um, terrified. Oh, God. But, um, yeah. So, if anyone who I don't know for the next two, three months calls me just in the street then I will probably not turn around and I will not say hi but yeah so see you next time bye